What is y'all? This big call. It's Chris. And you're watching Bad Outside TV. TV. Watch to the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Let us know what y'all want to see. Shout out to that boy, uh, Timo Matrix. He said you guys should check out netball highlights. It's not my favorite sport. To, to be, be honest. very honest. Oh, okay. See, but you find it pretty weird. But you will find it pretty weird since it's a sport where most Americans don't watch. It's kind of similar to basketball, but the way the game is played is very different. Also. It's not a man sport, mostly played by females, popular in England, Australia, Jamaica, and New Zealand, and a few other countries. So you should check it out and see what you think. Shout out to T-Mo Matrix. We always open the new stuff, like like we said yeah. earlier. We ain't know what rugby. We knew what it was, but we didn't know I heard of it, it, but I didn't know what it and was. And we definitely I didn't never see heard of netball. watching it. Let's look at these two fools for a minute. Oh, but they got a lot of views. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Terrible. I know. Um, I've never heard of netball, so this is gonna be new. Like rugby, I heard of the name, but I never seen nothing like nobody played it or anything. And since it's like basketball, I guess it'll be a tad interesting, interesting to us because we like basketball. Yeah, but I don't know. We, well, I guess you know. Maddie Proud will get us underway with the first center pass. Swift's home game, full house here at Sydney Olympic Park. Wallace Proud in the thick of things. So it looks like you can't dribble, cause everybody keeps passing it, and she like pivot and then she passes. This look, this is this is what coaches do. This is a drill where coach people like to dance with the ball and dribble and shake people to make it hard. Like our coach, he got a flat ball, and we got to break break a press with a flat ball. So I mean, the straight passing. Because, you know, it's easy to dribble around somebody, but you got to work as a team to complete the pass and stuff like that. That's what this reminds me of. Eddie, she'll team up with Hadley. Hadley to house be too much on it. The ability to convert more turnover ball. Here's an opportunity early. Well, across the season, the Giants are the best team at converting turnover ball, but that's where they let themselves down last week. That and also picking up defensive rebounds, especially. It's like pass and cut. Pass it, run. So just watch for Sam Pullman and Rebecca Bully tonight. That's an area that they'll want to clean up. Every time there's an opportunity, they'll need to take it. Susan Pettit finished the game last week in wing attacks. 90%. She had an outstanding game against Shani Layton, one of the best defenders in the world. And she's third most prolific in the competition, coming into round seven. She's on the leaderboard, the San Remo sharp shooter. Can you shoot it from long distances, or that's just a dumb shot in this game? Looks dumb because I don't see a backboard. Oh, you know what? This, okay, we went. Oh, yeah, it's at that court. About? We okay. saw that when we was younger, and we was like, that looks stupid. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, we seen a, they had a netball basket at a, a park we used to go to. And we just, I don't know, we just we thought, thought was, that somebody took the uh, backboard off yeah. and it was just stupid. So we was like, what is that? So that's what that is. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Board hit it. Line. Susan Pettit finding lots of space on the baseline and when she gets comfortable in that position that's where she's just so damaging. Why they get out of the way and just let them shoot when they get it by the basket? Like you seen that? Yeah. <laughs> Fima Pollock is an expert at a tagger. Bully. She's experienced head. What a pick up for the Giants. Davies. Kim Green said in the opening with you, Liz, a very different style of player, but just finding a way in this line. Pettit, Davies in the drive, the double play nice. Pettit loves the base oh. and the finish. <laughs> that fake was so slow and terrible. Like, if you tried that in the WNBA, you played yourself. That's getting thrown to the eighth row. That's left to screen. And you will get it both ends. What I like about Sam Wallace, 193 centimetres as Paige Hadley sneaks the possession. Is that she's on the move as well. And we've already seen her in this game get out of the circle. Just creating some space for Howesby to drive into. Good hold from Howes from Wallace. She can mix it up halfway through the first quarter. The Giants, top of the table. First loss last week. A 
the hands of the Melbourne Vixens who are the pin-up girls for teamwork and timing. And speaking of timing, Wallace shows off the sticky thing. And to be honest, your shot got to be very precise. You see how she flicked that wrist because there is no backboard to save you. Some people be relying on the on the back back. What what's the word I just said? Backboard. On the backboard. I almost said backcourt. <laughs> yes. Moving circle. It's not a matter of simply moving. You can't just stand there and run. You have to move in a pattern. And if you watch Wallace and Housby, one is always coming forward, one is going back, and that's where the space opens up. Well, it usually takes a while for that intrinsic understanding player to player. These two, <laughs> one from Trinidad, one from England, <laughs> from round one, seem to know each other. Six, Susan Petty. Uh, I saw something in the corner about contact. It was like no player can contact another player that uh, messes with their play. So I think that's why when they go to the like basket, they just get out the way. Oh, so you just got to hope they miss. Enjoying being off wing attack and back and goal attack, I think. Hadley, McCulloch doing a wealth of work wing defense in attack for the Swifts. Nice light ball from Proud. Draws Bully forward, floats it over See, like, the you could jump in front of them and do all that. But... And I guess uh, they're on the verge of turning it around. Don't forget, you can stream all the action live, fast, and data-free only with Telstra, the Netball Live app, a wealth of information. Make sure you've got it. The Giants having to use all the tricks in their very experienced book. Little double play between Pettit and Guthrie. Up from the first break. And it floats over the line. If they was in the WNBA, they'd probably be like great shooters because you got to be a good shooter to get that in that. Because some people went like you can shoot, but for some reason, as you get closer to the basket, the shot is like harder. So, and they be shooting it. Parting on off the back, and they see her early. Well done, she drew. Joe Hart, acting captain for the Giants, trying to rally the troops. is drawn down past halfway. Turner looking for the skipper. Proud opens up. What a surprise. She's everywhere. Last week we thought there was two of her on court. And Sam Wallace. And really the Swiss defensive line doing a magnificent job. Any opportunity that presents itself, they're taking it. Just winning on the rebounds. Bullen getting a hand to ball. Is there enough time? There is. Great work from Beck Bully. She was beaten a couple of times on a second phase play, but she read that beautifully. This is an opportunity to take another look at the reach of Bully and the backup from Pullman. So great teamwork yeah. from the Giants defenders. Well, it was good eyes up from them. The crowd just tried to sneak that ball through. And that's a better approach to goal. And that's often why players get recruited by certain coaches. Coaches are looking for smarts, and Maddie Turner obviously has it. Beautiful move. From Hart and Guthrie saw it. He grabs on Maddie Proud if they're paying close attention to it. Quick hands in the Swiss camp. Proud to Wallace. That was pretty to watch. Nice triangle set up into the pocket they go to Proud. Oh, <laughs> Wallace casual as you like. I'll just stand here and wait till you guys sort out and then I'll go catch the ball. And they had a little space defensive pattern on. And they defended the space and the zone rather than the player. And just a nice little move from the Swifts that opened up Harton at the back. Joe Harton has come into this game on the back of some really nice movement. Baseline doesn't move a lot, but opens up a lot of space with just a couple of steps. Great vision in front of it too. They've read the space centimetre perfect. So wonder if we're on the edge of a tactical timeout from the Swifts just to harness the defensive duo. Housby brings, brings one back. Anita Keelan, assistant coach, shakes her head. Rob Brightway never gives much away. Cross court, they go to Bully with pressure from Housby. Yeah, I reckon that was flirting with danger and Housby made him play. Yeah, she had possession and she was arguing it, but... The um, this is the end of the video, guys. I can see what uh, Timo was saying. How, like, we probably won't find it interesting. We see the similarities in basketball, but it's like, once you've been watching basketball, you really can't watch this. Because it's like, uh, they're not dribbling. I don't like that. No threes and all that. It's like, kind of like a layup. Yeah. 
Yeah, like uh, like the game just seemed way too slow and boring. But we tried it out. Yeah, we said to check it out. We did. So yeah. if y'all find some like really good, like interesting netball videos or netball fights, we'll or see what this is, just in case somebody said something that we can add in the video or something like that, then uh, you know we all for it. Uh, All right, oh. so as a five, let us know that chocolate marble cake is his favorite. And Toby Jug, he said, thanks for checking him out, and he already subscribed. So shout Thanks out for him. letting us know, you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And at the end of this video, I will ask, what are you, what's your guys' favorite cereal? Mine is Frosted Flakes. I don't eat cereal. Well, let us know if you don't eat cereal. Tell us what's your favorite breakfast item. Pancakes. A bacon omelet. Let me tell you what I eat. First. Oh, Lord. A bacon omelet. Bacon. Yogurt. Vanilla yogurt. Uh, boiled eggs. And orange juice. And a chocolate donut. We're going to catch up.